It was a warm summer's evening as the sun began to set on the 4th of July. The small town of Crestwood buzzed with anticipation, preparing for a night filled with fireworks and celebrations. Emily, a young woman with an adventurous spirit, was excitedly getting ready for the festivities. She invited her two closest friends, Sarah and David, to join her at her family's lake house, nestled deep in the woods just outside town. As dusk settled in, the trio made their way to the remote cabin. The air grew heavy with a sense of foreboding, and the familiar sounds of the forest took on in a retone. Shadows danced between the trees, casting ominous shapes on the path ahead. Arriving at the cabin, they found it strangely abandoned. The door creaked open, revealing a darkened interior. Emily flicked on the lights, illuminating the rustic furnishings and the dusty remnants of a forgotten era. A sense of an ease settled upon them, but they brushed it off, attributing it to the isolated location and their overactive imaginations. Outside, a distant crackle broke the silence. The first fireworks had begun. Excitement mingled with trepidation as they made their way down to the lake, the only source of light being the distant explosions in the sky. Reflections of red, white, and blue shimmered on the calm waters, creating an otherworldly spectacle. Suddenly, Sarah froze, her eyes fixed on a figure emerging from the depths of the lake. It was a woman, her pale skin glimmering with an ethereal glow. She drifted towards them, her hair flowing like dark seaweed, and her eyes empty sockets filled with darkness. Sarah let out a piercing scream, and the figure vanished as abruptly as she appeared. Shaken, the friends hurried back to the safety of the cabin. They barricaded the door, attempting to rationalize what they had witnessed. Was it a trick of the light? A shared hallucination? Their hearts pounded in their chests as they struggled to make sense of the inexplicable. Hours passed, and the night grew colder. The cabin's atmosphere had turned oppressive, as if it held the weight of a thousand forgotten secrets. The friends huddled together, seeking solace in each other's presence, trying to ignore the lingering unease that permeated the air. Just as they thought the worst was behind them, a haunting melody drifted through the open window. It was a melancholic tune that seemed to echo from the depths of their souls. They followed the sound, drawn to it against their better judgment. Outside, the moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow upon the lake. The music led them to a dilapidated pier, its weathered boards groaning under their weight. There, they saw her again, the spectral figure from the lake, standing at the end of the pier, beckoning them forward. David, ever the skeptic, hesitated. He urged his friends to turn back, but their curiosity overpowered their fear. They moved closer, step by cautious step, until they stood mere feet from the apparition. In a raspy voice that seemed to echo from the depths of the lake itself, the specter spoke. You must leave this place. Fortnight, the 4th of July, the spirits of those who met their end in these woods are restless. The friends exchanged terrified glances, realizing the truth that had eluded them. The cabin, the lake, the entire force they were built upon a forgotten graveyard. The spirits sought vengeance, unleashed by the revelry of the holiday. With a final warning, the spectral figure vanished into the darkness. Panic consumed them as they raced back to the cabin, stumbling through the dense underbrush and tripping over gnarled roots. Their breath came in ragged gasps as they reached the safety of the cabin once more. Inside, they huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests, as they listened to the distant booms of the fireworks. Each explosion seemed to draw the spirits closer, intensifying the supernatural energy that saturated the air. As the night wore on, the cabin itself seemed to come alive. The walls groaned and creaked, as if the very structure resented their presence. Shadows danced on the walls, taking on grotesque forms that taunted their frayed nerves. Whispers echoed through the rooms, carried on unseen currents of air. In a desperate attempt to break free from the clutches of terror, Emily stumbled upon an old family photo album, dusty and forgotten. 
It held the memories of generations past, frantically flipping through the pages. Her eyes widened with horror as she recognized familiar faces, faces that resembled the spirits that haunted them. The realization struck them like a thunderclap. The apparitions were not random entities, but the lost souls of Emily's ancestors, buried beneath the very ground on which the cabin stood. The 4th of July celebration had unwittingly awakened their tormented spirits. Sarah and David exchanged a grim glance, their hearts heavy with the weight of their impending doom. The spirits would not rest until their grievances were avenged. The friends had unknowingly stepped into a nightmare that would claim their lives. Just as despair threatened to consume them, Sarah's eyes fell upon a worn leather-bound book resting on a dusty shelf. It was a journal, filled with the scribbles of a long-deceased ancestor. In a desperate bid for salvation, they searched the pages for a solution, a way to appease the vengeful spirits. Hidden within the cryptic entries, they discovered a ritual that required sacrifice. The blood of the living could quell the thirst for revenge, but the price was steep. They had to choose who would offer themselves to the spirits, ensuring the survival of the others. Fear and sorrow mingled in their eyes as they made their devastating decision. Sarah, selflessly offering herself, would give her life in hopes of sparing Emily and David. Tears streaked their faces as they hugged each other tightly, bidding their final farewells. With trembling hands, Sarah performed the ritual, her blood mingling with the sacred words from the journal. A hushed silence fell upon the cabin, broken only by Sarah's faint sobs. Suddenly, the walls ceased their moans, and the shadows retreated, revealing a profound stillness. The spirits, satiated by the sacrifice, had vanished into the night, leaving Emily and David behind. The 4th of July had come to an end, but the scars of that night would forever mar their souls. In the aftermath, Emily and David struggled to rebuild their shattered lives. Haunted by the memory of the horrors they had endured, the lake house remained abandoned, a grim reminder of the price they had paid to survive. Years passed, but the weight of that fateful 4th of July never lifted. Sarah's sacrifice haunted their every step, a reminder of the darkness that lurked beneath the surface of their world. And on each anniversary, as fireworks lit up the night sky, the specter of the lake and the anguished spirits of the past returned, ensuring that the memory of that horrific night would never fade. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you found it captivating. Please remember to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more spine-tingling horror stories.